have an excellent autopilot. That's another great fucking skill that I have. That's an amazing skill to possess if you're out there, you know, rummaging for scraps, you know, rummaging for scraps and indeed sending out resumes to call centers. You know, I have an excellent autopilot, dude. My autopilot, autopilot, my autopilot is state of the fucking art, silent, dude. I have a silent ass autopilot. When I go on autopilot, I don't make fuck me noises, dude. I I don't make fuck me noises when I go on autopilot. I don't go, Ugh. I don't go, ah, you know, I don't go, Ugh. you know, those people that, 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 that are just bad at being an autopilot or they're either fighting it. Don't fight the autopilot, dude. Just being it, dude. Just, just let go and just let your body just take control, dude. Just find a happy place in your fucking mind, dude. I think that's the problem with these people that have loud ass autopilots. There's people that say, I'm hungry. When they're an autopilot and they just ate. They just ate. I'm hungry. It's just something that they say, dude. It's just autopilot. Autopilot noise. It's not me, dude. My autopilot is stoic and smiley, you fuck. What else do you want? What? The fuck is up, Constant State of Annoyance Podcast here! How you guys fucking doing? We are starting this podcast, rocking it, deep housing it, with Mark Browner's Sad But Ambitious, which to be honest, is like the perfect way to describe this podcast. I hope you motherfuckers are doing well. Thank you for clicking. Thank you for misclicking. I'm just glad you're here. Did I present myself? I'm not sure. I am George Blaha. I am your sad but ambitious host of these 30 to 40 minutes that for some reason you've subjugated yourself to. You've decided to take in my ideas. You've decided to fucking hear the info that flaps out, that goes out of my mustache so it could go into your Years, you know, that's why I grew this mustache, dude. It's a nice litter, a nice litter, nice little sticker slapped on the top of my idea boom box, which is my mouth. Jesus Christ, dude. I am, I don't know. I'm in a little bit of a position lately. I'm in a position that I don't want to be currently. I am in a place, I'm in a bad place, guys. I am out there hunting. I'm on the hunt, armed with resumes and patience. This is my fucking reality now. I am on the fucking hunt. And I don't know. Wh- I don't know why they call it a job hunt. They call it a job hunt, like if you know, like if you're the one who pulls the trigger, you know, for to to gain that job, to gain that photograph, where you're fucking, you know. That after hunt picture, that after hunt picture where you're fucking putting a gun in your mouth during a Facebook live because you can't fucking stand to enter your job. You're inside your car in the parking lot of your job with a gun in your mouth fucking asking the uh, asking the chat. Give me reasons to fucking live. That's what you're currently doing because we're on the hunt. That's how you display your job. You know, you're on the hunt, dude. Normally normally when you hunt, you're either killing something that's killing you or you're killing something so you could, you know, feed and like gain strength and nourishment upon this thing but I guess yeah you are job hunting because we're not hunters and gatherers anymore you know we don't go out there with bows and arrows or guns you know to eat we hunt for a job 
and that job provides us money that will provide us food. It's hunting with more steps. That's what jobs fucking are, you know? So I guess, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, it is job hunting, but you beg to hunt. You beg to hunt, and it's fucking dehumanizing as fuck. It's dehumanizing, dude. You know? You're out there scraping your knees, dude. You know? Throwing resumes like fucking, I almost said Chinese stars, ninja stars. But let's be honest, ninjas aren't buying ninja stars. I mean, I don't think there are any current day ninjas. And any of you wannabe motherfucking vigilante ninjas out there are probably buying your ninja stars from China. So technically they are Chinese stars, you know? This is a Chinese microphone that's placed on a Chinese table, you know? Most things are fucking Chinese. This shirt this is a Chinese shirt, dude, made by delicate oriental hands. <laughs> At least those fucking children are employed. Jesus fucking... I mean, I'm, I'm currently employed, but, you know, I'm, I'm looking for an upgrade. I'm looking to switch things up a little bit because, you know... I know I have to change my job when the when the thoughts that I have at at that said job are you know they're no, they're normally violent you know after if I'm if I'm working an 8 hour shift like 6 hours in like yeah those thoughts turn pretty twisted and violent you know but if those of those thoughts start out twisted and violent that's where we have a problem people that's where I know that I need to switch it up a little bit you know and I wish I was like a chick. I could just like get a haircut. You hair, you me. But that doesn't work for me. I can't do that. You know, men don't new hair, new me anymore. You know what I mean? That's not a guy thing. The only situation where a guy would say new hair, new me is if he committed like a horrendous crime and he's shaving his head. He's shaving his beard, his mustache, dude. He's fucking plucking his eyebrows super thin to the point where you can't distinguish that those were that those are his eyebrows anymore and he's fucking traveling on the road cross country that's the only situation where a guy says new hair new me if he's shaving his head in the in the bathroom of a shell you know after committing a horrendous crime <laughs> Changing his fucking identity, you know? Jesus Christ. New hair, new me! It always sounds like women want to be in a situation where they're forced into a witness protection program. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> do you really want to... Tr do you really want to experience the, 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 the true concentrated sensation of new hair, new me? Speak out against the cartel. You know, <laughs> speak out against the, against the cartel and go to the feds. Be under some witness protection program. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. But I'm looking for a fucking job. You know, I'm out there slinging those resumes, dude. This is what I've done with my life. I have resumed my whole and plentiful existence in a singular page. You know, do you like the font master? Master, do you like the font master? You know, I'm an Igor without a master. That's what a minimum wage, you know, minimum wage slave is, dude. I'm an Igor searching for a new fucking master. You know, look, these are my skills. I've resumed it all in a page my whole life. You know, does that impress you? Does my whole life on a single or fucking page impress you enough? To give me a mindless job where you're paying me the minimum. If someone's paying you the minimum, by the way, that means. If your employer's giving you the minimum, that means that they legally can't give you less. But if that was the case, they definitely would. That's what it fucking means, dude. That's what it fucking means to make minimum fucking wage, dude. You know? I'm out here begging begging to do a mindless job that's going to drive me insane and that's going to make make me stressed out and question what the fuck am I doing with my life a job that I know I simply know that I'm easily qualified for you know begging begging to do some mindless 
bullshit for eight hours a day, dude. That's what I'm fucking begging for. You know? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I fucking hate, I hate looking for a job. And I have skills. You know, I have fucking skills to get these fucking jobs. I know I do. I'm fucking qualified. Okay? I could zone out and, man and maintain a smile. Like, isn't that one of the most desirable fucking skills that these minimum wage employers want? For you to zone out and fucking keep, uh, and, and fucking not put, I have a way, I have a sl fuck. I, the fuck happened with my brain, dude? Recalculating, motherfucker. Let me start that sentence. Jesus fucking Christ, what am I, dude? I felt like some outdated GPS, dude. I swear to God, <laughs> remember when everyone was, was using those like bulky GPSs in 2008? Yeah, that's what I fucking felt like right now. Jesus Christ, recalculating. But I do have skills, dude. I could, I, could, I could zone out and keep a fucking smile. I could zone out and look like that I want to be there. You know, isn't that what you want, dude? For someone to like zone out and this mindless job. And they could give out the image that you're actually paying them a fair wage. Isn't that what you fucking want, people? What else do you want? You know? What else do you want? For fuck's sakes. Most minimum wage jobs, I mean, that's like the most top tier fucking skill that you could want in someone. Someone that obviously is going to hate the job, but that could save face. You fuck. You know, I have an excellent autopilot. That's another great fucking skill that I have. That's an amazing skill to possess if you're out there, you know, rummaging for scraps, you know, rummaging for scraps and indeed sending out resumes to call centers. You know, I have an excellent autopilot, dude. My autopilot Autopilot. My autopilot is state of the fucking art. Silent, dude. I have a silent ass autopilot. When I go on autopilot, I don't make fuck me noises, dude. I I don't make fuck me noises when I go on autopilot. I don't go. Ugh. I don't go. Ah. You know. I don't go. Ugh. You know those people that 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 are just bad at being an autopilot, or they're either fighting it. Don't fight the autopilot, dude. Just being it, dude. Just, just let go and just let your body just take control, dude. Just find a happy place in your fucking mind, dude. I think that's the problem with these people that have loud ass autopilots. There's people that say, I'm hungry when they're an autopilot and they just ate. They just ate. I'm hungry. It's just something that they say, dude. It's just autopilot, autopilot noise. It's not me, dude. My autopilot is stoic and smiley, you fuck. What else do you want? What else do you want, dude? I could go on autopilot, not complain, and put my mustache in a U shape. What else do you fucking want? I'm cute, dude. I'm fun to look at. What do you? What else do you fucking want? I'm eloquent. I know how to be nice. Jesus fucking Christ! Just, I just want to switch. I just want to switch from 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 one slave labor camp to another slave labor camp. You know what I fucking mean? That's what I want to do. That's all I want to fucking do. I have an excellent autopilot. It's important to have a good autopilot. It really is, dude. If they, 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 there should be an autopilot class, dude, in high school. Because th th we need to learn how to go into autopilot, dude. Most things in life are fucking mindless, dude. And you got to have a nice little fucking place in your mind to go to. You seriously do. You have to have a nice place to go in your mind, dude. And it's very important because you need that autopilot so those thoughts don't creep up on you while you're working. So those thoughts of, holy shit, like the universe has been around for what, billions of years? The universe has happily been around for billions upon billions of years. And you haven't been, you haven't been around for those billions upon billions 
of years. The universe has happily worked without you for billions upon billions of years. But now, but then one day, all of a sudden, you know, you kind of like wake up and you're four years old, dude. You're four years old. You're watching cartoons, having the time of your life, dude. You have endless energy. Everything's fucking exciting. And things keep on being exciting. You know, puberty hits. You hit a little rocky phase in your life, but that's just puberty. That's just life. You know, and then, it, then it's high school. Depending on the type of person that you are, things start picking up. You know, you go into college. You're all enthusiastic. You fucking graduate, you know, and boom, there you are. There you are, dressed as a fake fucking cop, drawing lines on receipts at a Walmart, you know. The universe hasn't been here for billions upon billions of years. And the fact that you're alive right now means that you're fucking lucky, dude. You're so lucky to experience the universe in the short period of time that that's been granted to you. You're lucky, dude. Like you weren't even a thought when the universe be- began and you weren't even a thought a hundred years ago, dude. Like the fact that you're alive is just is a mathematical miracle. The fact that your consciousness is awake in the body that it is. And if you're lucky enough to be, you know, for your consciousness to be awoken to in a first world country, whether you're poor or not, at least you're here, you know? And the fact that every day is a fucking gift, that you get to fucking experience noise, you get to experience hunger, you get to experience the wind, you get to experience other people, you know? The fact that you get to just experience the universe in its many forms that you could experience it. You know, means that you're fucking lucky. And what are you using your opportunity in the universe for? You know what I mean? What are you using it for? To take money at a toll booth? Like, (laughs) that's why you need autopilot, dude. Because if not, you're going to grind your teeth, dude, to the gums. Just thinking about it. Just thinking about how fucking trapped you are in this situation. And how amazing your life could be, but it's not due to, you know, societal programming, you know, due to you just not being born with enough wits to figure your way out of, you know, this bullshit system that we're fucking born into, you know, you're trapped in this shitty, mind-numbing situation, and if you think about that shit, dude, if you think about how lucky you are to just be alive and what you're investing your time in, like, you're gonna, you're gonna go insane, dude, like, the fact that there aren't, the fact that, that there are more school shootings than workplace shootings (laughs) surprises the fuck out of me, dude, just surprises me, because at least in school, like, in school, Well, I guess I understand school shootings too because in school shootings, you don't have like an option. You have to go to school. At your job, you don't have to go to your job, but let's be honest, you do. You do. Depending where you are, what the market is like at the time, you know, what bills you have. You know, you are forced to go to your job, but at least you have some sort of option. But at the same time, there's a lot of people that are just stuck, dude. I've seen them. I've looked at them in the fucking eye, dude. And they're not even aware of this shit, dude. Maybe it's because they worked out a great autopilot, dude. They've worked out a great autopilot. That's what work-life balance is all about. It's about living and having fun fucking moments. Because those memories are the ones that you're going to retire to. When you're doing that one single thing for eight hours a day just to be able to eat and have some shelter. You have to retire. You have to hide yourself in this nice little corner in your brain filled with all the happy memories, the few and, you know, the few and memories that you've accumulated over the times. That's the place that you go into when you go to your job. You have to have nice memories to be able to enter a nice autopilot zone, you know? 
That's why I like having sex with the lights on. Fuck having sex in the dark. Why the fuck would I have sex in the dark, dude? Why the fuck, dude? Why the fuck would I be grunting and fucking and sucking in the dark, dude? Have you ever have you ever actually remembered any sex you've had in the dark? Zero. None of it. I don't remember none of it, dude. It's just this blank memory, a lot of grunting and 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 happy pee pee feelings. That's all I've had when you have sex in the dark. It's fucking gross and annoying, dude, to have sex in the dark. You know, your mind zones out when you have sex in the dark. You start thinking about other things. It's boring, dude. It's so fucking boring, man. Let me turn on the fucking lights, yo. You know? That's why, I, that's why I'm so tired. And the only time that you turn off the lights during sex is because of women. It's because of insecure women. That's purely a woman thing. No guy's like, oh, I don't want you to look at my nip. I have weird colored nipples. Turn off the lights. If not, I can't take off my shirt. Like, no guy's doing that. It's purely and simply a female thing. And that's something that you just, I, 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 me, I can't let that happen. You know, I took you out to dinner. I fucking paid. The bill was what? 30 bucks. 30 bucks is, you know, if I divide that by seven bucks, you know, that's six hours of my life, right? No, no. That's like five to four hours of my life. That's like 4.5 hours in my job suffering, hating myself, okay? In a, in a situation that I don't want to be. I sacrificed my life, you know, my existence in that space suffering in a place that I don't want to be. And I used the reward of that suffering to take you out to dinner. Number one. Number two, I held in my farts for five hours, okay? For five hours, dude. I have a tight butthole and just praying, just praying that one doesn't just, that one doesn't fucking, you know, sneak up because we went to Tijuana. We went to Tijuana and and let me tell you, we did get four fucking refills of queso with those fucking nachos. We overdid it with the queso. I'm bubbling, tumbling in my fucking body, dude. You know? I'm, my my belly's feeling like a fucking bottle of of Coca Cola when you fucking shake it. That's what I'm feeling like right now. But I'm fucking saving face, dude. Making you laugh, even though I'm fucking clenching my butthole, begging for farts to not come out. And even if they're silent farts, you know, sometimes you'll try to stink the silent ones, but they are going to stink. They are going to stink. You know, I'm holding my farts for five hours, making you laugh, creating amazing times together. We were fucking connecting. Things are going well. You know, things are going fucking well. We make out. We say, fuck it, let's go and just let's consummate this fucking date. And we go, dude, you know, I invested all this time, energy, money into this fucking date for you to want to turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Why? Because you're insecure about the amount of moles that are inside your belly button. What, you have like 15 moles inside your belly button? Okay, that is disturbing. I don't want to look at that. But let's just put a, a, a piece of duct tape over it and keep the fucking lights on. Let's move on this. Oh, I want to turn off the lights because I have a birthmark. I have a birthmark that resembles a swastika on top of my pussy. And I feel insecure about this. So I'm going to turn off the lights to have sex. No. No. I want to look at that swastika life birthmark that's on top of your pussy. And I'm going to enjoy it. And my dick is going to go sig heil towards that swastika light swastika shaped birthmark that's on top of your pussy. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. Okay. I'm attracted to you. Don't go turning off the lights because you don't feel okay with your body. Fuck you. Fuck you. We're going to get naked. We're going to fuck. But no, no, I don't want you to see. I don't. I have too many folds on my back. Fuck off, dude. I need to fuck with the lights on. At least a candle. Not one candle, dude. Like, I, I, I like dimmed lights, but I like it more on the light side. I like to see the details. I want to see, dude. When I fuck, I want to see because I want to 
take in these memories, these visual memories. I want to remember this moment. So whenever, dude, I'm fucking slaving, trading my existence away, trading the fact that I'm so fucking lucky to be in this universe, dude, to, to be able to experience the universe for this certain period of time that's been granted to me. I'm using that time wasting it just throwing it away in a bullshit job because i'm too afraid to find another one i'm too afraid to try something new i'm too afraid to take a risk so i'm trapped in this fucking job wasting my existence away so meanwhile i'm doing that i fucking want to have some nice memories of me fucking you doggy style because those are the most beautiful memories let's be honest and i love fucking doggy style with the lights on because i just like taking a peek at that butthole I like taking a, I like taking a peek at that poop shoot. I like looking at, I like taking a little peek at the butthole, waving at it. You ever wave at the butthole? That turns me on. I'm gonna admit that tur it turns me on to like wave at a chick's butthole when she doesn't know when I'm fucking her from behind. That makes me. <laughs> That's too honest. <laughs> That's too honest. It's real. That's true. That's sadly true. <laughs> Oh, what's wrong with me? I like it, and I do judge a chick by her butt. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do because I've never fucked a chick with like a with like a bleached asshole with a bleached a hole. But I have like you know I like judging the color. I do <laughs> because it says a lot. It says how much you you've pooped through this lifetime because you know the butthole gets stained after you shit a lot and, and if it's like overly stained then i know that you have tummy issues you know <laughs> and i don't want to procreate with someone that has tummy issues i want my fucking offspring to have that strong fucking tummy dude i don't want to have an offspring that that has to shit four times a day dude you know i want my offspring to go out there and experience life dude you know, I don't want someone whose life is cut in half because they're, you know, they spent, you know, we spent one third of our life sleeping. We spend one third of our life, sadly, working. Most of us are working jobs that we don't want to fucking do. And, you know, and then you're going to use half of the, of the other one free third fucking shitting, dude. Nah, man, I don't want to make some miserable fucking kid. <sighs> but I have a good autopilot. That's my point. That's my point. Because I fuck with the lights on. <laughs> but I've been looking for jobs. I've been slinging that resume. And there's a lot of weird fucking questions. There's a lot of weird processes when you're submitting those e-resumes. When you're submitting those resumes electronically. Like I submitted this. I, I wanted to. and I And I couldn't. I couldn't submit it because I, I, I refused to go through the process, but I I tried to submit a resume to Boost Mobile. You know, I'm not, you know, whatever. Again, just like the song that I put on the podcast earlier, Sad But Ambitious. I <laughs> submitted a resume to Boost Mobile, you know, because inside of me, I truly, I think my true calling in life is selling phones, selling burner phones to hitmen and high-level drug dealers. That's what I want to do with my life. I want to sell phones and boost mobile, you know? I want to fucking, I want to sell phones that who, I want to sell phones which intention, which why those phones are sold is to be smashed after one phone call, after one death threat. That's what, those are the type of people that I want to deal with. I feel like I'm ready to deal with those types of dangerous people. There's a lot of people with face tattoos that <laughs> have boost mobile plans. And those are the people <laughs> that I want to deal with. You know, I want to sell, you know, wireless plans to people who could only afford the type of coverage where you can only make phone calls and send text messages when you stick your phone out of the window those are the types of plans that's the type of quality of products that i want to sell for minimum wage you know because i truly believe that that's going to fill me up 
fucking people over with <laughs> terrible coverage. <laughs> you know, they want to fucking sell, send a dick pic at three in the morning. That they, they have to fucking stick their hand out of their kitchen window. <laughs> ah. Do you know what? The only reason I think why Boost Mobile is still making money because it's a terrible fucking, it's a terrible fucking, you know, cellular service. But I think that they sell the they sell the information of you know the people that are on their service. I think they sell that list on the on the dark web. So you know, people who like rob houses could know. Which people have terrible coverage and which people are going to struggle making out an emergency call, you know? <laughs> because you really want to fucking home invade someone that has Boost Mobile, dude. You know, because the chances of them calling someone, calling the cops, finding reception to call the cops are super minimum. That's what you fucking want. <laughs> that's that's how Boost Mobile, that's my theory on how Boost Mobile makes their cash but before i could send that resume to boost mobile um and and i was on facebook you could you could look for jobs on facebook by the way anyone who's struggling struggling to find a job um you ch check your facebook there's a bunch of nice local listings and i was on facebook and before i could send the resume it was asking a couple of questions and this happens you know sometimes they want some you know prerequisite questions for you to answer but these questions were pretty peculiar they were peculiar. And I'm going to read these questions to you. And I didn't send a resume because I fucking refused to answer these whack-ass questions. Question number one was, if you were to travel to a deserted island and you could only bring three things, what would you bring? Are you fucking with me? Are you shit? This is a minimum wage job i'm an igor i'm a low level retarded igor dude okay if you're paying minimum wage you're getting the minimum you're getting the minimum person why are you like i don't and the fact that i'm you know sad but i'm i'm sad and ambitious i'm fucking you know shaving away my dignity to just submit my resume to a boost mobile you know and you're asking me, you're making me jump through these fucking hoops electronically, dude. Fuck you, dude. That's fucking dehumanizing as fuck. I just want a minimum wage job, dude. And you're making me answer these types of questions. And there's more. And it gets better. But the first one was, if you were to travel to a deserted island and you could only bring three things, what would you bring? Number one, it says, it doesn't say if you were trapped. It didn't say that. It said it said if you were to travel. So if I'm traveling to a deserted island, I'm guessing that there's a house at the at the deserted island, or did I pay to have the survival's experience? Like why the fuck? Like what things are available at the at, at this deserted resort that only I get to walk around in? Like what kind of a stupid question is this? What three things I would bring? You know. If it was, if you were trapped, you know, in a deserted island and you could only bring three things, that's a better question. But it says if I, if I had the chance to travel, you know, so like I'm consciously making this decision. I wouldn't consciously make the decision to travel to a deserted island unless if there was like a fucking house equipped with electricity, you know, cooking appliances. So like, I don't understand this fucking question, dude. I don't fucking get it. It's fucking retarded. But if I had to answer it, you know, if I had to answer it, I, and, and also there's a lot of very variables to it. It's a hard question to answer, but if I had to answer it, the answer would be a pound of weed, rolling papers, lighter. Next! Fuck you, you stupid fucking questions. The second question is, let's suppose that the president of Amazon is giving a $3 million prize for an amazing business idea. Basically, if Jeff Bezos was paying $3 million for an amazing business idea, what would it be? Number one, Jeff Bezos could pay $3 million, more than $3 million for an amazing business idea. Fuck you, Jeff Bezos. I ain't telling you shit. You fuck. You bald fuck. I ain't telling you fucking shit, dude. 
the fuck? Why would I tell you an ama- if if I did have an, an amazing business idea, why would I fill it out in this weird, you know, in this weird question that's being asked to me, you know, electronically. It's not like a person's asking me this. The fucking computer is asking me this, and this is a question that I have to answer before sending in a resume. Why would I tell you my business ideas? Eat a bag of dicks. Or maybe this is an important question. Maybe it is an important question for them. And maybe the reason why they're asking it is because they want you to have bad business ideas so they could know that you're dumb, you're not ambitious, and you're never going to fucking, you know, be able to, what's the word? I'm, I'm thinking about it in Spanish, but not in fucking English, that you're not going to be able to better yourself and you're not going to be able to follow your dreams because you're dreamless. Maybe that's what they want to know, that you're fucking dreamless and you don't have any business ideas. You're slave material and they want to ensure that. They don't want to fucking hire someone. For 725, you don't want to hire someone with fucking ambition. You don't. You don't. Because you want to retain your employees. If someone has too much ambition... You train them, and what? They are out in six months? Then you're fucked. Then you're back at square one. You want unambitious people. And I think that's what this question is for. That's the only logical answer I could find. Because, you know, honestly, fuck that question. Not answering it. Fuck you, Boost Mobile. The third one is, if you were... If you were to paint the world one color, what color would that be? And you know what that color would be? It would be blue. He's like, fucking hope that the sea consumes all of us to end it fucking all. Because whatever the fuck that we're doing right now, whatever the fuck we're doing right now is fucking wrong on a human and natural fucking level. Don't make me fucking answer. Don't make me fucking answer these dumb fucking questions. Because the problem with these fucking questions is like, there's no right answer. You know, it's like, what are you testing? Like, what the fuck? What kind of, what, like, what do you want me to answer? Because seriously, like, I'll dance the fucking dance. What's your favorite color? Although I think about it, the real answer is what? Orange? Is that the Boost Mobile colors? Is that the, let me check the boost mobile colors. Fuck, that's what I should have fucking answered. Fuck. That was the answer. It's the boost mobile colors, dude. Fuck, what's the boost mobile colors? Let me see, boost mobile. I'm typing with one hand. Give me a second. Boost mobile is... Yeah, fucking orange. I should have said fucking orange. Fuck. What a dumb fucking... Dude, again, it's minimum wage. Don't make me jump through these weird, you know, freak, psychologically freaky questions, you fuck, for a minimum wage job. Like, don't make me jump through hoops, dude. Don't make me jump... Because then I'm gonna hate you. Don't make me hate you. It's like if the world wants me to become a weed dealer. I swear to God. You're self-employed. You work your... You, you, you work your own hours, you know? You're most likely not gonna get caught. Most weed dealers don't get caught. You know, <laughs> you're your own man. Fuck. It's like the world wants me to sell weed. I swear to God. And the last question is if you had this, this is the one that just, oh my God, it infuriated me. If you had the opportunity to become a breakfast cereal, which one would you be? What the fuck, dude? Oh, and why? What do you mean? And Why? How do I explain why I want to become Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Are you fucking with me? Are you fucking with me, dude? If I could become a cereal, does that include the box or just like the... the ce- what kind of a fucking question? Like, it's just... Why are you fucking with me like this? Why am I getting fucked with for wanting to give my fucking time to your bullshit company, dude? Fuck you, man. Seriously, fuck you. And obviously, obviously the right answer is Honey Nut Cheerios. Because number one, it has the word nut in it, teehee. And also because I do want to become a Cheerio. You know, because I, I want to be able to provide sexual pleasure to people with micro penises. That's the cereal that I would become, you know. It's delicious. And people with micro penises could fuck honey nut Cheerios. And they could nut in those honey nut Cheerios. And I don't mind people 
If I was a cereal, I wouldn't mind being Honey Nut Cheerios because I don't mind people with micro penises fucking me because you know what? Everyone deserves love. That's the right answer to that fucking question. Or, or, the funny answer, I mean, you know, it's funny, but, you know, but the real funny answer is like any cereal with a, with a toy in it means I'm always walking around with that butt plug, baby. <laughs> Let's see humanizing, dude. This is fucking crazy. The fact that I have to answer these questions just so I could have the opportunity for you to just glance at my resume and probably toss it aside. Like, fuck you, dude. Fuck all these fucking questions before I could send a resume. It pisses me off. I'm so fucking exhausted of the whole process. I swear to God, I'm so exhausted of the whole process. I don't even know, man. <sighs> I don't even know. I really do feel a little hopeless sometimes. You know, I'm trapped at my job and I really want to just, just I, I really just want to do something else with my life. And that whole rant that I did, that, that whole ex- existential rant that I did, like it's, it, it's, I don't know. I'm just tired of investing my limited time on this, in this world, doing things that I don't want to do, you know? But that's why I do this podcast. Because I like doing this. I like figuring shit out. So anyways, let me look for the inspirational quote because I need to be inspired, people, to look for a job. Let me look for the inspirational quote of the week. But anyways, I have a segment on this podcast where I say an inspirational quote. I love inspirational quotes. They really help me get through my week. And the inspirational quote of the week is winning isn't everything, but wanting to win is Vince Lombardi. Honestly, this is a very beautiful quote, but if you, if you switch the words around, it kind of fucks it up. Because if you switch winning to fuck, like, it makes you sound like a simp. Fucking isn't everything, but wanting to fuck is do everything and anything to fuck. Listen to her stories. Comb her hair. Become her friend. Listen about Listen to her about all the guys that she's currently fucking. Means it's not about fucking. It's about wanting to fuck Vince Lombardi, the ultimate simp. Anyways, that's the podcast. Jesus fucking Christ, we fucking did it. It's done. It's three in the morning. I have to go to my current job. I have to come back, edit this, and pretend that I actually want to find another job. So <laughs> thank you guys for fucking listening. Um, if you really enjoyed this podcast, hey, you know what really helps it up? It really, really helps this podcast. Reviewing it on iTunes, number one. Number two, liking it on YouTube. Please like the podcast on YouTube. And sharing it with a friend. Please, that helps a lot. It really does. And anyways, thank you for listening to the whole thing. Thank you for listening to the whole thing. I love you, motherfuckers. Oh, by the way, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook, all that Instagram. Information is on the episode notes or the description if you're listening on YouTube. But anyways, I love you motherfuckers. I'll keep you motherfuckers posted. Peace the fuck out. Thank you, kind stranger, for clicking on a random video that has 17 views. You're amazing. It's because of people like you that shitty artists or people who think that have talent could keep on living and their delusion.